Hi guys, karibuni sana. Uh, we are back again in Koma and today I'm joined uh, by Bonasio. He'll briefly dis- uh, introduce himself and uh, tell us where we are at the moment. Good. My name is Moses Morevi. I'm the CEO of Anaka Real Estate Limited. Na hapa tuko ni hizi side za Koma Machakos. Yeah. Uh, it's not far from town actually because uh, from town to here is about 55 kilometers. Yeah, so Karibuni Sana, we'll be together at Airlight Gardens. So you've just mentioned about accessibility. Maybe you can expound on that. Huh? When I'm coming from Machakos or I'm coming from Nairobi CBD, how do I reach Airlight Gardens? Ah, good. So uh, Airlight Gardens, if you are coming from the uh, side of CBD, you come all the way along Kaguto Road, you get to Ruai, Toke Uko, Kuje Kamulu, to Mala, then from Malaya you get to Koma. So Koma there is a junction that is going uh, all the way to Machakos. And from that junction, we are just 1.5 kilometers away. So what Okua Hapa, uh, from this side, where the tarmac is passing, I don't ask you again. Nazisia. See on your Yeah, and again uh, it's a serene location. Also from, from Machakos to get into this place, we are talking about 20 kilometers or thereabout. Because uh, the road from uh, Koma, Mitaboni, Machakos, uh, it passes through the Mua Hills all the way to get into Machakos. And I can tell you for sure, the best thing about this place is its locality. What do I mean? The vicinity of these things in another level. This on this side is the Mua Hills. You can be able to see the, uh, the meanders. Yeah? The meanders of the hills. And again, if you check on this side, you can see the great Kimambogo on that side. Again, uh, on that side, you can be able to see uh, those smaller hills or something. Yeah, Kagundo, it's that side. So it's a very nice location. And uh, one thing you have seen also is the fact that uh, amenities are within. Be it the roads, Manenayastima, uh, Ikohapa. You can be able to see even neighbors around. You get the point? So it's a very nice and ideal location. Okay, just to touch on the social amenities that you mentioned, yeah. this is a project that uh, maybe somebody is uh, looking at settling in the near future or soonest. Yeah. Uh, what are the social amenities that can make this place very comfortable for someone looking to secure their future? You can mention of the schools, the roads that we have yeah. coming in the area. Good. Mm-hmm. So first of all, I've told you uh, getting to this place off the tarmac is just 1.5 kilometers and the road is over the road to get into this place, yeah? We have talked about amenities such as electricity, come and imagine, you can be able to see it from this side, uh, the, ni- the nice neighborhood, nice houses coming up. And I can tell you for sure, there are so many circles and other organizations that have been invested in this locality that have made this common metabolic road to be really, really uh, attractive. And again, when it comes to appreciation, it, it is somewhere that it is appreciated at a very high rate. You can imagine uh, just less than a year ago we had uh, Tausi, which we finished up, and again then it was going for 500. So you can see the kind of changes that are happening in this locality. So I want to encourage someone who has been planning to invest this particular year. The time is now. Because basically uh, for this product, which you are just giving at 750,000 Kenya shillings, I can tell you for sure, before him Mwakaishe, you can never get such a product here with that price. So the time is now, and I believe also the, the, the plots that are there are limited. Sio mingi. So, si zubai zubai, then unapata mwana si wako. Nice one. So there's a, a question that has just crept in. Huh? Uh, you've talked of the population and you've talked the, of the appreciation rate in the area. Someone is interested in knowing, uh, is there any major zoning laws in the area regarding the population of the area? At the moment, there is none. Because uh, the element about zoning and uh, designating what is supposed to be developed in a certain area, now that is uh, the work of the counties. But at the moment, when it comes to the titles for this particular place, uh, but, uh, the titles are freehold. So it is an open setup where you can do farming, you can do your residential, or any other type of uh, activity you wish to do on the land. Uh, people are also looking at element of uh, wealth creation, where can they put their money somewhere they can be able to get value. I can tell you for sure, this is the right place. This is somewhere where you put uh, your 750,000 today, and in two, three years, you're able to reap more than 80% of that amount. 
So basically what I keep encouraging investors is the fact that if you're investing somewhere that is closer to Nairobi, you'll never get it wrong. Because these are the places where people are coming to. You have seen recently along Kagudo Road, as we are talking, we have more than 10 different types of circles in terms of buses. Those buses are coming all the way to Koma, just about five kilometers away from where we are. They couldn't be here if there was no traffic. They couldn't be here if they don't have people to commute. But because of that, the place keeps going up every other time. Ah, okay. We can maybe walk around and show the people the area yeah. where we are exactly. You've uh, insisted and uh, emphasized on the distance from the main road that is 1.5 kilometers from here. And people are asking, uh, any future development plans like roads, upcoming industries in the area that can make them uh, really see the importance of investing in Koma? What I, we do as Fanaka Real Estate, uh, we don't work from a point of uh, speculation per se. What do I mean? We come on the ground, we establish strategic places that have already grown, that where accessibility and amenities uh, are within proximity. You get my point? Yeah. So if today we are talking about a tarmac, we are talking about not a proposed tarmac, but a tarmac that is already existing. Yes. All right. You get the whole point? Because again and again we have seen some of these proposals, most of them they don't come to be realized. And if you are there buying out of uh, an expectation you'll be having probably a government project or something like that, what if it does not come on? It's, it's not established. You end up feeling like you lost your money, or probably the value of what you got probably is almost, it declines. But Fanaka we make sure that the amenities we are talking about, when you come to the ground, you fight them right in the places we are talking about. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. As we wind up, uh, we want to know about the rental, uh, the rental rates in the area, maybe someone looking uh, in the future, because you've mentioned you're not looking at speculation uh, properties, but uh, something that is already real time and uh, already ongoing. So you can just talk about the rental rates in the area and uh, wrap it up with uh, why Coma. You've done about uh, two projects right now in Coma sure. since we started. So why why the locality? So what Coma is doing, eh? uh, Coma is providing affordability. It's providing affordability. Because if you are talking about a distance of about 50 kilometers off the CBD for a price of 750,000, that is a 50 by 100. All price inclusive. It's not so many places you get that. So what Coma provides is the affordability and again a strategic location. And the best thing when you want to invest is to ensure that you are following where people are going. Because people are the resources. So if you find some areas uh, people have started building their homes, things are coming up, this is what drives the prices up. So if you are able to invest earlier, you have that advantage of getting value for your money. You get the point. Now, when it comes to the lad rates uh, for the Machakos County, yeah. for some of these sites which are a bit uh, distance uh, from the major towns, you find that the, the rates are considerably affordable. We might be talking about 1,300, uh, around 1,300 shillings every year. So it's something that is affordable. And again, when we talk about uh, approvals, in case you want to do construction, for the longest Machakos, approvals have been very, very efficient, with a lot of ease, and much more affordable than any other county surrounding the city. And I can tell you for sure, uh, the reasoning behind using so many traffic, or so many people commuting for these sites, is basically because the ease of developing and the ease of doing, uh, constructing the houses. So it's something we would really uh, urge someone who is looking at us, someone who is uh, considering an investment for this year. The chance is now. And the place is Elite Gardens. Yes, yes. All right, guys, from the CEO's desk, Wakati Nisasa. And thank you for keeping us company. From the CEO, you've had it all. Affordability, uh, accessibility to the project, and that's it.
He's selling it at a 750,000 Kenya shillings that is discounted cash price. Karibuni Elite. Fanaka Real Estate, your ideal real estate partner.